our slider crank mechanism as a disposition this time with theta equal to 180 degrees with our O2 at this point and our crank here the connecting rod is also horizontal point A is here and point B the slider crank mechanism is towards the right but it moves along the horizontal also the velocity of B is equal to the velocity of A plus the relative velocity of B with respect to A and we can easily draw the velocity polygon the velocity of A is given by that vector as it moves upward that is the velocity of A the velocity of B now has to be along the horizontal and we can draw that along the horizontal and the velocity of B with respect to A has to be perpendicular to this AB and we can draw that starting from that point of the velocity of A along the horizontal direction there is an intersection and so it gives us a certain magnitude the velocity of B with respect to A is just equal to the negative of the velocity of A and the velocity of B is equal to zero with that we can proceed with the acceleration analysis we understand before that the normal acceleration of B is equal to zero as uh, B, the slider, is also only moving along the horizontal the direction of motion is not changing the normal component of acceleration is equal to zero and we only have to determine the tangential component we know the direction, we do not know the magnitude now the acceleration of A normal has to be determined but uh, we can compute it later the tangential component of the acceleration of A can also be determined and uh, the normal acceleration of B with respect to A can also be determined but we do not know the magnitude of this while we call the direction so we can determine the velocity of A uh, the acceleration of A normal to be equal to the velocity of A squared over O to A and uh, that will have to be along that direction the acceleration of A tangential has to be equal to alpha 2 multiplied by O to A and uh, it will have to be along that direction the acceleration of B with respect to A normal has to be equal to the velocity of B with respect to A squared over AB and uh, that will have to be towards the direction if we now draw our acceleration polygon we can have something like this this is from 0 or from O the acceleration of A normal plus the acceleration of A tangential plus the acceleration of B with respect to A normal now uh, with this we can make that uh, vertical line and uh, this we can make that horizontal line and it gives us an inter intersection here so uh, that particular magnitude is actually the acceleration of B tangential and it's just equal to the total acceleration of B